All right. Here it is. Sakura Gamer 2. Not, not that tripe that was Sakura Gamer 1. This is they they really expanded and work and uh, worked around what wasn't good enough in the Sakura Gamer One, and made th this is the definitive Sakura Gamer experience. Obviously, ask anyone in the world, ask your grandma, ask a cop, ask anyone, especially a cop. Sakura Gamer Two is the Sakura Gamer definitive thing uh so we tr i tried to get the boys together but uh, uh scheduling conflicts didn't work out for us and then i came down with a cold and i'm getting better now i think i'm just have like one more day of quarantine left before the real disease hits but uh but yeah you the finale of date month will be a date between you and me, Pat. You, the viewer, and me. Just what you always wanted. A date with me, Pat. Hmm, that's not right. That's not good at all. But I think this sounds, don't think this sounds any better either. I stare at my laptop, my fingers fisting in my white hair. Fisting in it. Ah, this is all useless. I've been struggling over the scene for the last two hours, but nothing I write sounds even halfway decent. Every time I tap out one sentence, I delete two more, and so on and so on, until it feels like I'm going backwards rather than forwards. That is writing. And it sucks. Who knew writing could be so hard? I used to write back in high school, but my... Oof largely consisted of short, edgy poems about the futility of life, the inevitability of death, and how hard it was to get cute girls to like me. I sent these poems to some of my online friends, including Clover, and they told me they were good. Now, I think they were trying to spare my fragile ego. Man, I can't even, like, go into, like, how, like, that shit would crush me if my garbage work was criticized like when I was growing up and also up to now probably um it's like even though it was all constructive it was all in the it was all in the right spirit just being criticized like fuck I have to nail it the first time without any practice and hearing that anything came up less than that is just is just like this anchor that just poof like it was like rough I don't know why it's like that I don't know why everyone feels the need to be perfect the first time I don't know why it can't just be you know, something that kind of sucks that's leading into something that eventually doesn't. I don't know. I don't write edgy poetry anymore. Thank God I grew up. I left that embarrassing period of my life behind me, but... I have to write at least a thousand more characters. Ah! Falling into the Ishtaria trap! Just one thousand more. It shouldn't be so hard. Why won't my fingers move? Instead of writing poetry, I'm now a very different kind of author. It wasn't always like this, though. In fact, it was a pretty recent development in my... Hitherto... Hitherto... Okay, sorry. Uh, hitherto uninteresting life. My eyes just did not want to see that word. About a year ago, I worked as a computer repair technician. I had the enviable job of fixing computers, and they, when they stopped working, owning either to broken components or violent infestation of malware, courtesy of questionable porn websites. It wasn't a very, re it wasn't a very rewarding career, but at least it paid semi decently. I wasn't particularly happy with my life, but I'm a creature of habit, and I was content to turn computers on and off again until the day I died. That is just about always the solution to. 
It's just restart the thing. But that changed when Sukiko moved in. Sukiko, Suki, we'll put some shorthand on that. It's one of Clover's friends. They talked online for a little while, and after his last ten tenant of my home moved out, Closer asked Suki if she wanted to come in and live with us. Suki used to live with her grandmother, but they're on pretty bad terms. I met Suki's grandmother once, but this was before Suki moved in with me. Back then, I thought she was your typical sweet, kind lady who was more than a little hapless when it came to technology. But from what Suki's told me, her grandmother's actually a staunch traditionalist who sets with good old-fashioned family values. Her grandmother even lives in a shrine. She was trying to train Suki to be a shrine maiden in her place. Unfortunately for her, that didn't go down too well. That's right, this free bird you cannot change. I can't be tied down by shrines, baby. Gotta let my freak flag fly. Suki is so not shrine maiden material. She, shit, one. Uh, she's loud and talkative. She likes wearing skimpy clothes and she absolutely loves flirting with cute girls. She loves drawing cute girls too. She loves drawing cute girls so much that the moment she heard I was semi-decent at programming and had dabbled with the creative arts, she asked if we could form a company together. So I was thinking, we should all make a video game. And with those prophetic words, my fate was sealed. Suki decided that we should make a visual novel. I still don't think they count as real games. <laughs> and Clover was quick to agree. The fuck is basement quality anyway? I was more hesitant, but in the end, I got roped into all this madness. And my life changed forever. Now I'm a visual novel writer, and to top it all off. Ooh. Okay. So I can be single and ready to mingle. I can be dating Suki, Clover, or both. Are there more possibilities if I keep myself open? Or do I stay like open open? Let's be open open. And that sums up my life to the present. One year after our decision to make a visual novel, I'm busy writing a sequel to our first work which proved to be an unprecedented hit Miko made. Miko Maid was a short, relatively unambitious story about a shrine maiden who falls in love with a maid who works in a nearby cafe. Wow, really breaking the mold there. The shrine maiden is a shy, retiring kind of girl. Well, the <laughs> was a shy girl one day from retirement. Well, the maid is a cheerful and energetic and a loose cannon who doesn't play by the rules. Kind of like Clover. The maid rescues the Shrine Maiden from her dull, sad life, and the two of them go on all sorts of adventures. Like when terrorists take over Nakatomi Plaza. And they have a lot of sex along the way, because of course they do. I mean, sex sells. But who's buying? I know that better than anybody. And so does this guy. Suki did the art and the UI, <laughs> UI design for our visual novel. Clover handled the music and sound effects, and I worked on the programming and writing. <laughs> I didn't expect much from a short, content light visual novel like Miko made, but we took it to the manga market. It exceeded expectations. We sold every physical copy of Miko made we'd produce in two days. After that, we established a digital storefront for Miko made, and it continues to rack up sales on a daily basis. Then, Suki decided we should make a sequel to cash in on our success. Manga market's coming up in a couple months and I need to work hard to finish that script in time, but... Well, why is writing sex scenes so hard? My fingers hover over my keyboard. My screen is pure white, like a field of snow. Only a handful of black characters splashed across it. Two hours have gone by. A whole two hours and I've done nothing. Hey, hey that's me. Two. This is way too difficult. I already had to write a bunch of sex scenes in the last story. Can a girl get a break? Erg, I'm so nervous I'm starting to sweat. This is so not cool. Since this is the long-awaited sequel to Miko Maid, 
people will be expecting even wilder scenarios with even more depraved fetishes thrown in. That's what I feel about date night. I'm like, ah, this has got to get more fucked up, right? It's just not fucked enough. They'll want to see bondage, pit play, food play, water sports, maybe even holding hands. The world's your oyster, kid. Since this is the long-awaited sequel to Miko Made, people will be expecting even... Oops. It's the sex scenes that sell these sort of stories. They have to be good, and they have to be engaging, but... But... I don't have any ideas. My fingers coil in my white hair, and frustrated, I begin to pull. I'm lucky I don't tear chunks of it in my porn-induced distress. Man, this... It's not what I wanted this to be. Sakura Gamer... Where's all the getting on Xbox Live and, you know, like, getting banned from Xbox Live and shit. <laughs> no, back in the day, you could never get banned from Xbox Live. You, honestly, you could get away with murder on that. Oh my god. Uh, how can you make sex scenes interesting? Surely there are limits. What about the dialogue? It's all, mm, uh, and fuck me harder, but that's not interesting. It's predictable. There are stock phrases like her damp petals and her quivering mounds, but what is that even? <laughs> and her clunge. They're very just vague signifiers. <laughs> say pussy all you want if you mean pussy, and breasts if you mean breasts, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> From fucking Jersey. Eh? But if you use language like that too much, it stops being sexy and starts feeling rote. This is impossible. Maybe if I was never good at writing. Maybe I was never any good at writing. No, no, it's just easy to get trapped, dog. Some of the reviewers who played Mika made certainly seem to think so. Well, Suki's art was almost universally praised. A lot of people said my writing was terrible. That was pretty demotivating, given all the time and effort I poured into the script. I worked hard, but none of the negative reviewers know that. They don't even know who I am. If they saw me on the street, they wouldn't be able to tell me apart from Eve. I recently stopped reading the negative reviews and I'm trying to focus on writing, but it's hard. I've never had much faith in my creative abilities, but after being slammed with so much negative press, I feel even worse about this whole trying to be a writer thing. I'm just a shy, delicate girl, and my self-esteem was at rock bottom to begin with. I'm a nerd who wears glasses and I don't get out much. Suki and Clover are my only friends. And lovers, baby. I'm pathetic enough as it is, so please be nice to me, anonymous denizens of the internet. Nah. I mean, I think the generally the internet culture's gotten, like, better out of necessity, and, like, people have policed that a little more. But, uh, it's overall better now. Um... Uh, It's still what it is, though. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy here. Hey, Nekohime, Nekohime. I hear a familiar rapping on my door. The voice that comes with it is familiar, too. It's Clover. Yep, it's me. Okay. Clover pushes her way into my bedroom without asking permission. Not that I really mind. We've been living together for a long time, and I'm used to her barging into my room whenever she feels like it coming into my room more and more often this last year since we started dating. Never thought I'd fall for Clover of all people, but I guess some cliches are true. Opposites really do attract. So we got a bumble we got bumblebee gloves. Oh, those are buttons on the right breast and and a no a D-pad on the right and buttons on the okay. So she's a gamer. Maybe I needed to play soccer a game or one to know. I've been dating Clover for a year and we're closer than we've ever been. I still get mad at her on occasions, but I love her a lot and I'm particularly glad to see her now. Are you alright, Nekohime? I could hear you shouting from my bedroom. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I was having a bit of trouble. With the script? Yeah. That and my rapidly deteriorating mental health. I've been trying to approach the scene dozens of different ways, but no matter what I did, nothing sounded good. <coughs> 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 oh. Oh. 
I am getting better, though. It was worse before. I was starting to wonder if I'm just as talentless as those reviewers said. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself. Miku made only got a few negative reviews. Most people liked the story, and if they didn't, it wouldn't have sold so well. I know, but for some reason, the positive reviews seem to matter less than the negative reviews. Yes! If... If... 100 people said it's amazing and it's the best, and one person said, like, not even that it's, like, shit, just, like, criticized it even a little, that's what's gonna stick with you. And I'm afraid that if I do another bad job with the script, I'll ruin all the hard work you and Suki have poured into the story. Then, when I think of all the people I'll disappoint, I'll get so anxious I can't type a single sentence. Ah, oh, jeez, that sure sounds tough. It is tough, not sure what to do. I need to finish the script ASAP so I can start editing, but I haven't made any progress. I'm a loser. Hey, Nekohime. Over bumps the top of my head with her fist. I love you a lot, and I won't have you calling yourself a loser in my house. But this is my house. I'm the one who bought it, and you're just a tenant. Maybe so, but I'm also your girlfriend, so you mean the world to me. Some people said mean things to you on the internet, so what? When I started posting my music online, people said my stuff was awful. I got loads of comments like it hurts my ears and you suck and don't give up on your day job. Hey boy! Hey boy! What you doing? Hey! I have a dog. It hurt, but don't take it to heart but I didn't take it hard because I knew I could do better. Just need to keep at it without giving up. But when I thought everyone loved your music and Miko made, no, they didn't love it. They said it was adequate, if they mentioned it at all, which isn't really the same thing. I wasn't expected much, though. Nobody really pays attention to music and visual novels. Except for this fucking banger right here. Boo! fucking slaps dude I got the hardest with the negative comments back when I was a teen and I was starting out well that's how it goes for most people Suki said the same thing Suki was only 13 when she started posting her art online her anatomy was all messed up and she didn't know how to draw boobs and people made fun of her people made fun of Suki but her art's amazing maybe it is now but it wasn't always that's what I'm trying to get at here me and Suki have been uploading our work to the internet for more than a decade. We've had all kinds of criticisms flung our way, but we took it on board and got better. It's for you, however. You only shared your old poems with a few friends. You didn't upload them to the world so everyone can tear them to shreds. You're not used to being criticized, so the comments are gonna hurt. Maybe some of those criticisms do have the kernels of truth in them, which makes them hurt even more. But if you let them weigh on you too much, you'll never be able to improve. If you want to prove those people wrong, you gotta have more self-confidence. I know you're right, but I set my laptop down on the floor and sighed. There's no point in kidding myself that I'm only going to, that I'm going to get any work done tonight. The sun's already set, and long ago somebody left with the cup, and it's pitch black outside. I'm not used to this, like you said. I'm still weak. Don't worry. You need more training. If you ever feel down, you can talk to me. I'll always be here for you, Sayo. Unless I get hit by a bus careening through an apartment complex. <laughs> Ridiculous. Thanks, Chica. I smile at Clover. I guess I do feel a little better now, but I'm curious about something. Where's Suki? She was busy drawing for like 12 hours straight. Then she crashed. She's fast asleep on the couch downstairs. I don't want you pushing yourself like she is, so I thought I should check up on you, especially when I heard you screaming. Now, Clover procures a small bottle of something between her cleavage. Clover has pretty large boobs, so she's always using them to store things, mostly her phone and her keys. I don't think it's a very safe storage method, and neither is... Is it hygienic? Won't her stuff get all sweaty? <laughs> Whatever floats her boat. <gasps> Why don't you lie back and relax? Let me look after you. I'll give you a long, firm massage, all, and all your worries will be gone in an instant. Hey, boy. You doing all right there, boy? <laughs> oh. Uh, 
I even brought some massage oil for the occasion. Clover shakes the small sweaty bottle that she removed from her cleavage. The yellowish fluid inside sloshes against the size of the clear bottle. That's that Neutrogena shit. I guess that explains what that is. The massages can get kind of messy, especially with oil involved. I don't like getting wet, but, well, my shoulders are aching a bit. It'd be nice to clear my head, so I think I'll take you up on that offer. Alright, just lie back and strip off your shirt. I'll give you a great experience you simply won't forget, or your money back. Idiot. Look, I'm gonna pay you. Yeah, I've been really trying, beer. Remove my shirt like Clover instructs me, then lie down on my bed. The sheets feel nice against my bare skin. The soft, the soft sigh escapes from my lips. I feel more at ease already, and Clover hasn't started to touch me yet. I guess Clover was right. I really do need to relax. Stressing out about sex scenes of all things just isn't healthy. Sex should bring people joy, not misery. I shouldn't let it torment me so much. Here we go. She presses her fingers against the small of my back, and she's already lathered some of the massage oil onto her hands, etc. That's the actual sex isn't why we're here, is it? Is it? Okay, it is. It is. I never said that, d d b b baka I just have a bit of stress in my shoulders, that's all. I know, I can feel it. Your muscles are really tense, but don't worry. I'll give them a good workout. Ugh. You know I hate working out. Maybe that's why your body's in such bad shape. You need to get out of your room more. But I have so much work to do. I don't like going outside either. It's easier to stay in here. Now you better be careful, Nekohime, or end up being a shut-in. Might not be so bad. Hey, I'm a person too, you know. Do you want to talk to me? You're an exception. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Though her fingers pressed consistently against the length of my spine, I can feel the tense knots between the surface of my skin shape. Relaxing. This really does feel good. Desperately want to crack my back now. Just thinking about it, I guess. Starting to feel a little sleepy. Oh god. Ah, fuck. It's nice to spend quality time together. It's been a while. What do you mean? You're always spending time together. You're my girlfriend, aren't you? That's true, I guess. But I love you so, so, so much. I want to spend even more time with you. You've been so busy working on our newest visual novel, we barely had a chance to cuddle like the good old days. Your hair is so good. You're so special to me. Thanks. You're special to me, too. It's not like I'd let anyone touch my body this intimately. I'm like a cat. I want to fly away. That's why my online handle's Nekohime, and I tend to shy away from most people. Clover's an exception to the rule, and I do feel relaxed with her. I wish she wouldn't say all the sappy stuff, though. I'm super weak to kind words, and it's making my heart pound. So, manga market's coming up a couple months, huh? That's right, we don't have much time to finish Miko Made 2. I have to work harder. Speaking of manga market, Suki applied for a table a while ago. <laughs> we haven't heard anything back from the con yet, though. Think they're cutting a little close? Maybe we won't be allowed in. Maybe we... We only got in last time because Suki applied early with a different circle. They dropped out, so we took their place, but they weren't really supposed to be there. Maybe they don't want small-time developers like us hanging around. You're being paranoid, Miku made so well. You're not like nobody's. We have more faith in yourself. Now, if you can still voice those silly worries, you must not be relaxed enough. We need to massage you even more. And I, meow, hee hee, you're meowing just like a little kitty. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. You must feel really good, huh? Let's keep going. I want to hear you make all sorts of embarrassing noises. Oh, my God. Uh, Clover applies more massage oil on my back than it works into my skin with her knuckles. Meow. Surrender. Mother <laughs> of a fuck. Uh, will you moan? I'll apply more massage oil. I'm going to slick up 
You're up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Marie just asked for the bottle of massage oil, which is resting on my bedside table. Oh, fingers are slippery, and she knocks the bottle over. Bottle lands with a clack on the floor, and everything shits all over the place. Crap, no way. The massage oil spilled all over my laptop, and I lost everything. <laughs> so quickly, I almost knocked Clover over, and I pulled my shirt over my head. <laughs> My hair's all messy, but I don't care. That doesn't matter. I have to blow my nose. This. Oh, fuck. It's so itchy. But that doesn't matter. Right now, nothing matters more than the ultimate fate of my poor laptop. I fall onto my knees and wipe the oil off it with my sleeve, praying silently. Please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. Hey, Nekohime, I'm really sorry about that. It was an accident. I swear, I didn't mean to damage it. Um, it isn't damaged, right? Um, I don't know that yet. I just don't know. Um, Nekohime, why'd you look so frantic? Even if the laptop's broken, it shouldn't be too bad. I can buy you a new one, and you do back up all your work right. I usually back it up. I forgot to upload the newest build to me. <laughs> you can add two to the cloud. If it's gone, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> This is a huge nightmare, and it's all your fault. But it was an accident. I already said I was sorry. Grrr. I know Clover means well, but I'm super pissed off right now. If I'm not careful, I might end up doing something I'll regret. <sighs> I wish this didn't suck so bad. No, I'm just playing. Uh, this is not what I... I didn't think it would be about two people writing a... A visual novel. I thought it would be about, you know, some stupid. I wish it was dumber than this. This <laughs> it ruined my relationship. What should I say? I can't believe you've done this. You have a brain where you dropped it on your head at birth. I don't even know why I hang out with you. You're such a moron. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the meme, of course. This one's for you, Taha. Doing the meme. Ah, it's no good. I should try to calm down, but I'm way too pissed. In the end, I can't say anything other than I can't believe you could be so clumsy, you moron. Get out of my room right now. Yesterday was the worst. I slumped down at the breakfast table, massaging my temple with my fingers. I didn't get any sleep last night. I was too busy trying to salvage my poor laptop and last week's work on Mika Made 2 along with it. I tried my best, but I wasn't able to fix it. My poor laptop's completely dead. The screen refused to turn on for a good two hours. And when I finally did boot up, the fan made strange whirring noises and shut down promptly two minutes later. I could take my laptop into a repair shop, but what's the point? My laptop's pretty old and it could probably cost more to repair than it would be to buy a brand new model. Didn't... weren't you the computer repair person? Wasn't that established? I don't like admitting failure, especially when it comes to electronics, which are kind of my... okay. But this might be the end of the road for my old laptop. RP, you will be missed. What a pain. I press a hand against my mouth, trying to suppress a yawn. I feel exhausted. <coughs> so much for Clover's attempts to cheer me up. Now my stress levels are off the charts. Hey, Nekohime, what's wrong? It looks like you're having trouble keeping your eyes open. Alright, you don't need to worry about me. I was just having some technical technical difficulties. Oh no Ties? Tees? I stare at Suki, my eyes wide. She's in anime guard. I'm so tired it took her appearance a while to register, but now I'm looking at her properly, I can see there's something strange about Suki. What could it be? She's wearing 
Well, she isn't wearing much at all, and that's the real problem here. Don't be a hussy in the Sakura Gamer House! Dress yourself, you slag! Oh, you disperse my family name! Apart from a cute pink apron that's tied around her waist, she's completely nude. S Suki, why are you dressed like that? Oh, this? I just felt like dressing up a little. That's what she says, but she's wearing less than usual. Shouldn't that be dressing down instead? Today's an important day, after all. We should cut loose and celebrate. Speaking of which, I made your favorite pancakes. They're covered in whipped cream and sugar. Eat up, Nekahime. Suki places a plate of steaming, fluffy pancakes on the table before me. Pancakes are thick and perfectly round, all a nice, even golden brown color. Peaks of whipped cream on the pancake tower are starting to melt, and the sugar sprinkled on it glistens tantalizingly. These pancakes look really good, and they smell good too. I burn a strand of drool drips down my chin. <coughs> oh, it might seem childish, but there's nothing I love more than sugar. Chocolate's nice and all, but there's something about a perfectly made stack of pancakes that's simply unbeatable. Pick up my fork, ready to dig in when... <clears throat> Wait a second, hold up! Why is today so important? What happened? Why are you celebrating? Oh, you don't know? You should have received an email this morning, same as me. I didn't see it. I was too busy trying to fix my laptop. It's broken. Oh no, what happened? Clover happened. They don't know, or I understand entirely. That really does suck. But if you haven't heard already, it means I can be the bearer of good news. Ahem. Suki clears her throat as if trying to generate suspense, then says, I'm very pleased to announce that our table application to Manga Market was accepted. Huh? Then that means... That's right, we're going to Manga Market in a couple months, so we gotta work our cute little butts off to get Mika Made 2 ready in time. I'm sure our fans will love to see us. <laughs> Sell thousands of copies and maybe you've... People will ask for our autographs. It'll be great. Aren't you excited, Nekahime? <coughs> I sit there blankly, with, staring at Suki with empty eyes. Am I excited? I don't know. Does the uneasy burbling in the fit of my stomach count as excitement, or am I coming down with something? Maybe I'm sick. I'm sick of dealing with all this stress. Now our place in the manga market is confirmed. I'll have to work harder than ever. I'm now good at meeting people at the best of times, and the thought of meeting people who might potentially have read Meko Maid, Miko Maid is excruciating. Going to Manga Market last year wasn't so bad, since nobody would have a chance to read any of my writing at that point, but this is totally different. We have fans now, and haters too. So what if people insult me to my face? What if they say my writing sucks? I still need to finish the script of Miko Maid 2. I have too much stuff to do and not enough time to do it in. Hey, Nekahime, what's wrong, Nekahime? I lost a whole week of work and now I'm going to have to rewrite a bunch of scenes. I already have so much to do. This pressure doesn't make things any easier. Damn you, Clover! I sniffle. My eyes feel wet and my head hurts. For some reason, my stomach won't stop churning. Not even the smell of Suki's pancakes can console me now. <coughs> <coughs> I think they're making it feel worse. Hey, Nekahime, are you crying? Did I do something to upset you? I really am sorry. Meanwhile, in a small shrine in Asakusa, and I will take a short intermission before the thrilling conclusion of the first hour of Sakura Gamer 2 tomorrow.